that first clip I showed you, I crashed the drone. So, let me tell you what happened. As I was going through, we have a lot of metal buildings around here, so I think that had something to do with it. Not 100% sure. But I was under this tree, filming to catch some nice shots of me going through trees. I've done this a lot before. But this time wasn't so lucky. I hit the tree, fell, and I was in cinematic mode, so I wasn't really even going that fast. So, crashed, and ended up cracking the gimbal, which is kind of a big deal. Anyway, ever since then, I glued it back in. Well, we're going to see if it can keep it stable. I'm not going to fly for very long. Anyway, so, I got that glued back, it totally cracked the gimbal, which means it cracked the camera. Which means the footage can't stay stable. So, now all right, let's see how this goes. So let me explain the crash. So at this point, it freezes on me, the drone. And I went up a little bit. Now you're probably like, why did you go up a little bit? And that's because um, I thought I was at my barrier of it wouldn't let you go that far. Because I was kind of messing with those settings um, earlier that day. So I went up to see if that was true. And I was going to go down, but we kind of went down the wrong way. Anyway, so I come to go grab the drone. See all the goats are involved. And you're probably curious what broke the gimbal. I'm going to get to that. But you can see without the gimbal, all of it's shaky. Of course, it still records, but it's shaky and just doesn't look that great at all. Anyway, let's review this crash in slow motion. So these twigs did not break the gimbal. You can see it's not, these are just late leaves. Something caught the propeller and it ended up starting to spin. What killed the gimbal was it hit the ground repetitively like this. That's what broke the gimbal before landing on its back and, well, you know, dying. <laughs> 